Welcome back to the channel guys and uh, welcome back to the Rocket 3. Now the Rocket 3 is a bike I've featured on the channel a fair few times actually and there's a very good reason for that and that's because I absolutely love these. Absolutely love them. As I'm getting now, I'm in my 50s now, I'm now 51 and I see myself sort of hankering a bit more after a big cruiser type bike but a big cruiser bike but it's got a hand and it's got to have some performance and the rocket 3 just ticks all of those boxes it's an absolutely fantastic motorcycle this one is one of the special edition chrome models with the chrome petrol tanks or the black at the front and the chrome at the back absolutely Stunning. I mean, there's no other word for the way this motorcycle looks apart from stunning and disgustingly dirty. But excuse that for the minute. As many of you will know, Ducati has just launched the new Diavel V4, which again is a big muscle cruiser bike. And I'm actually borrowing that next week. So we're going to do a head to head comparison with the Rocket 3 and the new Diavel with Greg. So, as part of that, I want to revisit both of these bikes separately first, or obviously a first ride on a Diavel because I haven't tried it yet. But I want to revisit the Rocket. We're going to do a comparison and we're going to see which one of these big muscle cruises, in our opinion, is the best. So, in this video, join me for a Rocket 3 revisited and I'll take this out for a bit of a spin. We finally got some sunshine. We've got one of the three days a month where we get sun in the UK at the moment. So we're going to take this out, thrash it around a little bit, have a little play on it and see what I think to it. So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a cup of something warm, make yourself comfortable because this is one hell of a motorcycle. Jopsy, roll the intro. jumping aboard, straddling this beauty, you're greeted with an incredible sort of layout and this massive chrome tank, F sort of flat, flat bars, really wide, a comfortable seat. This is the R version, not the GT version. So this has the pegs which are sort of mid-mounted, they're not the forward pegs. So yeah, they're forward a little bit, but not too forward. Sort of, let's call them mid-mounted. Bars are wide, the seat's fairly wide, nicely padded. Let's fire her up. Listen. That is a rather large lump. Well, I'm not talking about who's riding it. So the Rocket 3 is a bike. I absolutely love this thing. When if there was ever a bike, which I'd like to have in my garage and you know a potential future purchase, this is it. This is an incredible machine absolutely incredible machine all the controls on this bike are like velvet you know it's absolutely beautiful to ride there's no quick shifter blipper but there's just a really nice mechanical feeling from the gearbox as you engage the gears the clutch is smooth the throttle response is beautiful i mean this is just lovely to ride it's just a really beautiful experience to ride this bike and you can quite happily just poodle around in this, enjoy the scenery, you know, it's a cruiser, and, and just soak it in, because you just feel so cool <laughs> riding this bike. As many of you will know, I'm six foot two, 20 stone, so this is actually a bike I fit on and I don't feel too big for. One of the few, look at those sheep. The bars are really wide, sort of, I'm very upright, I'm upright, you know, and you've got that cruiser position where you've sort of got a little cup seat which your bum sort of fits into and your sort of feet, feet are quite high, sort of the, your bottom almost feels like it's the lowest part, it's the closest part of you to the ground. It isn't, your feet are definitely closer, but it's that sort of feel, you know, where you've got your arse low, your bars are quite high, but it's all sort of quite low here, it's all beneath me, but there's just massive bars and, you know, it, it's a really, com I love this cruiser position. I mean, they do do the GT version with your feet forward, and I really like that feet forward position, but this is definitely a bit more sporty feeling in the R with, with the mid-mounted pegs. But if you want a bit of feet forward, you can actually buy the GT mounting kit and, and bring the feet forward on the R if you wish. 
but I, I think for a cruiser this is the perfect riding position the tank is very wide your sort of legs are splayed out a little bit around this big 18 litre tank but you know it feels absolutely wonderful you can just cruise this bike around but the part well, it's not party trick but the, the thing with this bike which really surprises is how capable this bike is when you want to push on a little bit 2000 revs now 221 newton meters of torque and that is at about 3000 revs i think peak torque on this bike really low down you've got a 7000 rpm sort of red line so this is, this is all this is a very very torquey motor you know you could do i mean going on the throttle below 2000 revs you know it just starts rocketing you forward there's a reason this bike's called a rocket <laughs> and it certainly lives up to its name what is great about the rocket though if you're fed up with cruising you want to pick up pace a little bit it absolutely handles beautifully you know you could sort of muscle it around we don't even have to muscle it it falls into the bends you know it's got a 240 rear tire but it still falls in pretty nicely the suspension's sort of taut and actually quite firm the brakes are fantastic stylema calipers up front you know but you can hustle this machine it, it could it will go around corners it'll go to the edge of the tire and when you want to move it bloody shift you just open it up and all of that power goes to the road you know, there's no wheel lift it's so long it's it is literally a bloody rocket the downside with this bike and there's no getting away from it it's it's a very heavy motorcycle this weighs i think it's a 289 kilos dry so it's, it's going to be over 300 kilos wet triumph don't declare the wet weight but it's going to be over 300 kilos so it's a 300 kilo motorcycle and and although it sort of disguises that weight very very well when you're riding it sort of the way it tips in and stuff when you're maneuvering it around off the bike it does feel quite bulky but you know it's it's just something you've got to live with if you want one of these it's almost sort of heavy enough to to warrant having a reverse gear a bit like the big k1600 and stuff but you know it's not quite as bad as that the weight is quite low but it's a big heavy bike you know it's got the power but it's also got the weight and i think that's why the suspension is actually quite firm on this it's fully adjustable but i think it's quite firm because you know it's got that weight it's got to contend with and because it's got a sporty nature it's not a great big wallow wallow wash machine you know it's got some performance to it the suspension is can be a little bit jarring if you hit some real big potholes and stuff so here we go 30 miles an hour in third gear 1500 revs you know and the bike's completely happy to be ridden in that rev range i mean it's almost like a car engine in this you know <laughs> it's it's that flexible about dropping right down in the revs and if we say if we want to go on the power i mean things start to really that peak torque is about 3000 revs so that's when things really start to let loose but it is so fast this bike You've really got to make sure you're holding on tight when you open it up. It can take you a little bit by surprise. You know, it's that powerful. Look at this chrome edition though. Oh, it's another little mark on the tail now. It's okay, it's just a, just a watermark. How, how would you go about keeping this immaculate, this tank? And, and my legs sort of wob on the tank a little bit here. So I'd be a bit worried about wearing the chrome. You might want some sort of tank protector on here. <laughs> I'm not sure. I love the look of the chrome, but I'm, I'm not sure I could, I, I could live with it or trust myself with it. But the H2 is bad enough. So here is the beauty, the Rocket 3 Chrome Edition. What, what an incredible looking motorcycle. I mean, it's got to be said, what, what an incredible looking bike. Let's look close in at the details. So starting at the front, you've got those great big LED headlights with the sort of aluminium bezel here. You've got more aluminium on this little cow, this sort of black painted cow, aluminium touches on there. You know, the, the whole bike just screams quality. Skew's a disgusting mess, it is rather dirty, but you've got Stylema 
Brembo brakes up front. You've got you know, rad and radiator guards all standard on this one. There's that beast of a motor, two and a half litre, triple. Now, even, even the finish on the exhaust. I mean, look at the, the welds on the exhaust here on these headers. You know, they're absolutely gorgeous. And then like the end can, there's two pipes stick out here and there's also an exhaust on the other side, which I'll show you in a second. More aluminium on these little trim pieces here. One of the really nice finishing touches on the rocket is the rear pegs. They fold out here, look. Like that, rear footrests. I mean, that is just a beautiful sort of engineered. It looks like it hasn't got any foot pegs, rear pillion pegs, really nice. I love the black front of the chrome tank with the, with the Triumph badging. And then you've got the full chrome, full chrome. Single sided swinging arm on the rear so you can see all of that back wheel and that humongous, I think it's a 240 section rear tire. The rear tail light looks rather special as well. Again, more aluminium trim pieces on the back of the bike here. Triumph decals on the rear of the seat with the white stitching on the leather seat. Left hand side of the bike, you can see it's shaft drive. So that is obviously your shaft. The rear four pot rear caliper on the rear. So like massively powerful rear brakes. The seat on the bike is really comfortable, sort of really quite wide, sort of sculpted to your bum. There's not much room to move around on it, but you can see there's plenty of padding in it. You know, it's, it's a comfortable place to be, that. Another aluminium cover for the, the radiator. There's no point taking that off because it's just a radiator. Another great thing is all of the wiring for the controls is all inside of the handlebars. You can't really see because I've got all my stuff mounted, but there's no there's no no wires. So there we go, the Triumph Rocket 3. 23,595 pounds in the chrome edition. If it's the non-chrome, I think it's 21,000 something. I'll put it on the screen. It's just into 21s, I think, but it's 23,000 something for the chrome. It's, uh, it ain't cheap, this thing but it is exactly the same price as the Diablo V4, identical. The biggest surprise with this bike is how much you can hustle it around the twisties. And that's great because if I want to cruise, or sometimes I might want to pick up a bit of speed and have a bit of fun. And you really can do that on this bike. It's not just a point and square. A lot of people have said, oh, it's just a bit of a one-trick pony, you know, it just goes fast in a straight line. It doesn't, it does go round corners if you know how to ride it. You've just got to be showing a bit of a, take the ball by the horns, as it were. You don't get masses of feedback from the tarmac, you know, not with that big 240 rear tyre and, you know, 150 front tyre. But you, I could feel the sort of lumps and the, and the texture of the tarmac to a degree, but it's not masses of feedback. But it's just, you just, but the way it tips in is so surprising. And you've just got to give it a bit of welly, really. We'll take this up the hill climb, see if it's dry. I don't really want to follow the, the copper up the hill climb. I'm hoping he's going to go straight on. Go straight on, go straight on, yay. Yeah, we've got a little bit of dampness. Got to be a bit careful. It's a bit of a shame. But that drive, really go on the power. Yeah, it's too wet, really. You can't sort of get out of the seat, but you can hang your, hang your upper body out the bike just to you know, make the most of the crowd clear. <laughs> to give it a bit of this. But it's, it's, it's miles away from decking out. It is miles away from decking out. Take it into the corner, bang it round there. Oh yeah, she loves it. Another gear down, oh, round the bend, oh yeah. Monster. So I mean, you can have fun in the twisties on this. It's not just a straight line missile. You can, you can throw some twisties in there. I mean, it's not a sports bike, but it's, it's a well set up handling cruiser. For a 300 kilo bike, it handles much better than it's got any right to. I actually like the fact that this bike doesn't have a quick shifter and blipper. I think it adds to the sort of riding pleasure of this machine, the more mechanical sort of nature of this bike. What I want to do actually, before we go, I just want to switch this like off the line, you ready? I've got to prove that I can launch one of these after my efforts at 
NEC. Ready? If only I'd done that at the Excel Centre, I would have been alright. <laughs> it's fast. You know, there's no wheelies involved here because it's so long. It just puts that power down. I think try to claim an auto 60 in 2.6 seconds, I think. 2.6 seconds. Now that, that's going some. The performance is great on this, you know, not just straight line. It will go around corners as well. But that's not the best thing about this bike. I think the best thing about this motorcycle is how it makes you feel. It just makes you feel cool. And I've never ridden a bike which draws so much attention from other road users and pedestrians. You get people just looking at you, giving it all that as you ride past, people nodding. It's incredible the attention this bike draws. I'll take it through town and we'll see if we can get some reactions from people as I ride past on this. You won't believe it. I was having some work down outside my house the other week and the guy who was fitting the floors, I had this outside on the drive and he's like, oh wow, can I take a picture and send it to my mate? You know, it's, it's just an incredible looking thing. It almost looks sort of a bit retro -y with the round headlights. It's, you know, it's a definite sort of classically shaped motorcycle. It's not like really modern looking and space age, you know, it's very sort of classically styled and I think the styling on this bike is just an absolute winner. Triumph have absolutely nailed it. And with these special edition versions, they just keep getting looking better and better. Look at this fella here, look. Look, look, look at this, look. Go past the pub now, look. Look, look at what I'm riding. Look, it's cool, isn't it? No, no, they don't care. Look at this, look at this motorcycle. No, you're looking the wrong way. Look, off, put your phone down and look at this. Come on, look. So we can find some people to appreciate this. Come and see the rocket. Where is everybody when you want to show your rocket off? Oh, look, mate, look, look at the rocket. Look, appreciate the rocket. Appreciate the rocket. No, oh, he's not appreciating the rocket. We've got a rocket three here. Look, it's cool. Look, look at me. Look. Look, they're all just doing it on purpose now. Because I said you've got loads of attention. Everyone's purposely ignoring me. Look, never mind over there. Look, no, she's not interested. No, not interested. Well, normally, when you ride this bike, you get nothing but attention. Look at this lot here, look. He loves it, he loves it. Come on, look at this machine! Look, 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 over here, over here. No, no, too busy looking at my reflection. Wow, that was very disappointing, very disappointing. I didn't get the appreciation I was expecting. Look, you, with headphones on. No. He's not having it. So there we are, the Rocket 3. It's a fantastically brilliant, outlandish motorcycle. You know, it is, it's an incredible two-wheeled marvel, this bike. And I will own one one day. Or maybe I'll get a Diavel instead. I don't know. I've not ridden a Diavel. I've heard good things about the Diavel. So if you want to know which is best, the Rocket 3 or the Diavel, stay tuned for our comparison. Press that subscribe button so you don't miss it, and I will see you on the next video. Take it easy, guys. See you later. Look at that countryside. What could improve that view? Well, here it is. A bike with a 240 section rear tyre has absolutely no right to handle as well as this bike does. Now this is so capable. I think this is the quickest motorcycle I've ever ridden. First gear. Am I babbling? Yes, I think I am.